Hey everybody, and welcome to part 5 of Spyro A New Beginning. Well, The Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. And this is Concurrent Skies that we're in, by the way. I looked it up, and these are... Ow. Electric Leech. So it's an electric world. Ooh, these leeches are, are actually bulky. Ow, I totally did not know when that was going to stop. Also, I feel like we don't get to block enemies as much... Or stop, stop enemies as much anymore. Ow. I'm getting hit by, like, every single enemy in the game. Alright, we'll do this. Ah, there we go. They gave us some help. Oh. Ow. I don't want to get hit by that attack. Oh, gosh, man. You have, like, so much health, man. But I want to try and level up as much as possible. And I believe this is still, what, the first screen to the level? Oh, God, they do so much. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're on to the next part. Man, this place is huge. Does that mean it's going to be a long world? Because the last level was the Munitions Forge, by the way. It technically wasn't the Volcano. But the swamp literally was just called Swamp, by the way. Oh boy, how do we get over there? If we climb to the top of that spire, I should be able to glide over. So, it looks like we're going to have to go up. Upsie daisy. There we go. Whee! Oh, we barely made it, but we did. I wish, like, we got increased melee damage. Like, I know we did in the uh, PS2 version, but, man. Is this the Spire? Darn electric leeches. The minigames, though, give you the most blue gems. Oh, this must be the climb. Because this clearly looks like the climb, and, you know, I don't want to face you. You guys are too bulky at this point. Okay, this on the other hand. You know what's funny? Our breath is supposed to knock back enemies. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna have to. Can I get both of you on screen at one time? No, it didn't work on him. Oh lord. Oh, save point. Thank you. Well, check one, I should say. Not really much of a save point. It doesn't actually save your game. I believe the game only says it's saving in, like, very few places in the game. Thank you. Oh god, TNT! I'm dead. Oh god, I lived. I don't even know how I lived, but I did. Just electric turrets now that have gems. Okay. Okay. It's funny how these, like, jellyfish can attack you, but also aid as platforms throughout the game. Well, the level. Not really much of the level. You mean ground isn't super effective against electric types? Oh, wait, this isn't Pokemon. This is Spyro the Dragon. Ow. Meanie. See, killing enemies at least gives me health, though. Ah, there's probably crystals over here. No, or just an enemy. One single enemy. Is that even worth it? Ow, it looks like there's more down there, but I don't want to deal with it. Okay, we're in the fortress. It's a maze? We'd better make sure we don't get lost. Now it... Okay, hold on, B. Sparks fly around for a better view. Oh, okay, you hold down B and it allows Sparks to go ahead. I didn't really know where we're going, but I'm going to assume this isn't really going to be that difficult. And no. And just do it the way I think we can do it. I don't believe there's an actual maze in the re in the uh, other games, only the GBA version, because there's only so many mechanics they can do for this game. 
so you know that's the thing. Wait, did we go this way already? We did. We came from that way, so maybe it's this way. Oh, we have time! I didn't realize that we had time. Man. Why does everything in this game have to be timed? Talk about putting on the pressure. But I feel like we're getting close to the ending. Now don't push it down too much. Or push it over too much so we can actually get down. Like that block there is just a trick. Like you barely have to push them to get past them. Hmm, definitely this way. Like that. Come on, thank you. Oh, we made it! Woohoo! We did the maze! And we leveled up. We have to get to the top, quickly. But Ignitus could be anywhere. I just know he's up there being drained by Cinder. Maybe it gives me more HP. Maybe... You know what? Yeah, these leeches are just a pain in the butt. Like, major pain in the butt. Thank you. Leeches. Why must there be so many leeches? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like how they made it seem like we're gonna have to like climb like this really awkward place and then glide a long distance, but we never did. Like, you're just climbing a basic level. There we go. And you're toast as well. Ooh, gems. Ooh, there's even a blue gem in there. See, now we're doing basic damage against the enemy, so, or at least it feels like that. Also, is this not the way we're supposed to go? We're supposed to go the way of the gate, I guess. This feels more like a maze, man. Also, that was a troll moment right there, guys. Do you see what the game did? Ah, uh, if you guys heard that, my girlfriend just said good. Ah, uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, I don't actually have a cell phone to text, so that's why I, um... Ah, uh, talk over Facebook. Also, the leech can't get me if I'm here, so... Or apparently it can, because guess what? It's a darn leech, and leeches are the most annoying creatures in existence. Okay. Oh, that's what got me. Yeah, I forgot there was the jellyfish up top. Oh, one gem? Seriously? And it was only for my breath attack, too. He might actually die. I mean, fall off. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, are you serious? Just for some gems? Better give me some blue ones in there. Oh, the enemy gave me a blue one. So at least that's something. Urgh. Give me a blue one. Nope, nothing. Oh my god, the first check one in a while. I didn't realize how long it's been. Yeah, see, our range attack doesn't really do more than our basic attack, which is really funny. Because normally it does. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's just melee him to death now. Finish him off. It takes so long, man. But only two hits for these guys. Alright, uh, ow. These things attack way too fast if you're, like, you're in range of them. Uh, you know what? I'll happily take the- Ooh, there's blue in there. Why did I land on the jellyfish? You know what? Screw you guys. I'm out of here. I've got another leech. Goodbye, leech! Well, we're not at the top yet, I guess. At least according to the game. We must be close, because the background never changes. Right, well, technically it does, it's just multiple fortresses. Nothing really too fancy in regard to that. Ah, there we go. 
The, elect the electric fences always do the exact same thing. You notice, they always do like the same pattern. And one cluster. Ooh. Lots of enemies, though. Ah, of course you survive. Oh, lag from all the gems, man. Yeah, still no blues. All these soldiers, we must be getting close. Why are you not scared? Wait, what? I feel like that dialogue was wrong. Like, it was for, like, Sparks to say Sparks' line, or Spire's line, and Spire to say Sparks' line. These are not soldiers, by the way. These are evil leeches that no one likes. Who actually likes a leech? Comment in the comment section below, leech, if you actually enjoy these darn blood-sucking fiends. I get why they're electric leeches, because they... Why is it every time there's a death sign, we don't jump? Like, literally, only when there's a death sign does it actually have an issue. Oh. Okay, I apologize, Mr. Commander. I did not know you were going to be down here. But here you go. He literally had no health left. That's so weird. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're going to have to go over here. No, screw you. Hey, a Dreadwing. Dreadwings are always so easy to take down. You know, screw you. I'm just gonna fly over the gate and over the enemy. Get off my land! Little baboon. Baby boon. Ow. What do you call a baby baboon? This must be it. Here we go. Be careful, Spyro. You two sparks. Cinder boss fight already? Ow. Okay. Um. Oh. I'm supposed to. Guys, I can't move! Oh, I have to tap the button now. Oh, and she has a long range wing attack. That's nice. Oh, yeah, every attack you do, she goes back. Why does she want Ignitus' power so bad? He's just a red dragon. I thought purple dragons were, like, the most powerful of dragons. Okay. Okay! I didn't get to read that. Boo! Oh. You must, you must stop Cinder from releasing the Dark Master. I don't know if I can. You're the Purple Dragon. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. Whoa, don't go giving him a big head. I will do my best, Ignitus. Then I shall take you to Convex... Convexity, where Cinder is headed. This is the only place the Dark Master can enter into our world from the Dark Realms. See, there's one of those random save screens. Before you go, Sparrow, I must... I, I have something I must tell you. What is it? Cinder, she's not as evil as you believe. Oh, come on! She's been corrupted by the Dark Master, but she was once a dragon just like you. Like me? Indeed, from the very same clutch of eggs. But I will still have to stop her to stop the Dark Master. May the ancestors be with you. It sounds like some wow stuff. So this is literally where I die. But this is literally the world where there's like no enemies. So this will be the finale of the game, most likely. I'm so glad I didn't actually have to defeat Cinder all in like one go because yeah that would have been a pain in the butt I would have died totally didn't know that it was going to be like a, like a boss fight that's in different phases like I was told you just defeat her there and that's it but why, wait why do I get gems here like if they're not blue gems then what are the points and this is more than one frame but like we in like outer space all of a sudden like, how is this even in our world? Oh, those platforms are moving. That's so trippy. Oh, that one actually gave me blue and purple. Hey, I was told there were no enemies here. Game! You trolled me. That's why I don't... That's why I never read game facts. I always just do things myself. Ah, you can see a serpent down there. Okay. Now, the serpent was what? Right... There it is. I don't even know what they're called. I 
don't even know if I get a good opportunity to attack one. I've got a save point. Thank you. Even though it's literally the same as going into a different screen, if you guys notice that. What a, are those things, like, evil by chance? No, they're just weird and floaty. It's like the Legion in World of Warcraft randomly having ships now. Like, wait, why do you guys have ships? That seems so weird when you guys are literally demons. Like, they literally have spaceships that are more advanced than anything. Well, actually, I guess the Jirnai have spaceships as well, so it's kind of weird. Oh my lord, more of this! It's not even getting any more difficult. Okay. That was actually scary. But I think I'm not supposed to fall. Or, it didn't really matter. I made it over here. My blind glides always seem to make it to where I need to go. Oh, there's a platform that moves. Okay. Now I'm dead! Hmm. Flying high in the sky like Hercules. Though, can Hercules really actually fly? He doesn't have the power of flight. None of his parents were... Why does he slip? There's no ice physics here. Not like the ice level, even though I really don't think there was really much for ice physics. I think I was just bad in the ice world. Though, I liked the enemies in the ice world. I felt like the ogres and trolls were really cool. I feel like blue gems only drop once in a certain cluster of crystals, and then they don't drop again. Okay, maybe I should have just waited for that platform all along, instead of being so impatient. Probably had to, actually, at that rate. Took so long to get here. No blue gems in that one, sadly. Ah, checkpoint. Okay. Mm. Oh, I... Totally, honestly, thought that was. No, come back here, dude. Thank you. I did it again. <gasps> no, I didn't do it again. I made. It. Man, what are you? I want to know what they are. Poo. Darn it, man. Okay, I knew I could make it. That. I want to know what they are. Darn it, that one doesn't angle. So where my pocket just vibrated, but I'm like, I don't have minutes on my phone, so... Wait, purple? Why am I getting purple? Can I even use my attacks on the boss? Like, my mega attacks? Never actually tried, to be honest with you. Enough of your meddling, Spyro! My master's work is complete, and now I will destroy you once and for all. Bring it on, Dragon Lady! Oh yeah, and then you randomly have this breath attack. Oh yeah, and your... And your attack literally... You like, your purple gems literally meant nothing. Also, can I, can I like, have that? Because, like, I need some, uh... Alright, now I believe... What you want to do is you want to look... Oh. I was told that you gotta look out for her when she does that. Oh man. So you just want to stay back and up by her wings. Oh. Now I gotta wait. Oh, right, you know what? You know how dangerous it is to get close to the darn boss? Ow! She's, she's just straight up slapping me. Ow. Okay, you know what? The hard part is getting... Getting up off the ground after she gets you down. Also, I don't believe you get health, so... Also, big question. What happened there? Actually, you do get health. Oh, man. Ow! Get off me! You just gotta time it right. Sometimes your attack literally does no damage to them, though. So, like the bosses. Oh yeah. Don't want to get hit by anything. All right, there we go. One attack. That's oh wait no, got more than one attack in there. Now that's all of the attacks we have. 
Oh, that's the attack that I was warned about. Also, the fact that you have, like, little to no invincibility frames. Ow, don't slap me, biatch. I hate that attack so much. Ow, how did your wing get me from there? There we go. Man. Man. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to use my mega attack. I didn't see that I got it. Oh, so I just open up a wormhole and shoot things at things? Okay. Master, help me. She's just like me. We have to get out of here, Spyro. Now without Cinder. Thank you, Spyro. Let's go, Spyro. And I can't read the rest of it. You are a hero, Spyro. Oh my lord, man. It's that, that dialogue. There we go. That is The Legend of Spyro. A new beginning for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. What did I think? For honestly having this as a cartridge... It had bad dialogue overlap, but I did re read reviews that a lot of the copies were like that. A lot of the sound was glitched, the gameplay was very lackluster, and it was a very short game that took less than 6 hours to beat, so considered extremely short and a waste of money. But I liked it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, I'll just speed up the credits so you guys can go through them all. Bye bye By the way, there were way too many credits for me. Like, those were way too many credits. Oh, and then you have mini games. I guess we'll check out. We have the Swamp Spider one. We have the Aerial Odyssey Flying one. Dante's Freezer's uh, Snowball one. The Tall Plains Race. The Munitions Forge Train Track mini game. The Escape Flying game. The Concurrent Skies Puzzle. So if you guys want to check those out, you guys can totally check them out. We've already did them in-game. So in the next episode, or not next episode, I guess I'll have whatever game is next in the description below. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I give this game about 6 out of 10 stars.